Okay, so let me prove a log rule to you. So let me suppose, say, start with this one. So I'm going to do my favorite log rule. I'm going to suppose I have log of x to the p. Okay. I'm going to just call that something. Log of w. Log. Sure. I'm going to call it w for kicks. Right. So this is just me saying, let w be this. Right. Okay. Uh, let me maybe call it base p. I guess. Is all good with this? Uh huh. Okay. What does this mean in exponential form? This means. So this is in logarithmic form, right? It means that b. So in exponential form. B to the power w is x to the p. B to the w is x to the p, right? You guys with me on that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. So then what's up? Yeah, never mind. So you can solve for x by doing the something by doing like the log base w log base d. Okay, so what I know is that yeah, log base x. That's what it is. It'd be log base x. Oh, I see. Okay, that'll introduce some weird stuff. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let's stay away from that for a second. So, what if I did this? What if I do take the pth root of both sides? Pth root. Uh, so you do the pth the p power. The so I'm going to do one over p power to both sides. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's doing the pth root to both sides. So if I do the pth root to both sides, I get b to the W over P. You guys remember that rule about exponents? It's a cool rule. Equals X. Okay, so another alternative is I did the stuff to the 1 over P to both sides, and then I multiplied the powers. Yes. So I got B to the W to the 1 over P is X to the P to the 1 over P. You guys with me? Yes. And then I multiplied the powers. So this is a exponent rule. And when I do that exponent rule, I get b to the w over p is x. Yeah. You guys with me on that? Uh-huh. Okay, so if I come back to exponential form lamp. Or, sorry, I was in exponential form land, right? Yeah. If I come back to what land is this? Logarithmic form. If I come back to logarithmic form, what do I get? That thing will equal x. <coughs> so really I want to do here, what I'm doing is I'm taking the log base b yeah, of both sides, right? Base b of x equals w divided by b. So I got w over p is log base b of x. Yeah. Oh, and then you multiply by p. And then I multiply both sides by p. And that's how you prove it. I see. That's pretty and I get w is p log of x. Oh, thanks. You guys see that? Yeah. And so my log rule comes out of kind of the composite of all of that, right? So this thing here is just a log rule. You guys all see that? Mm -hmm. Cool. So what was the why for that? What was the why? For yeah, like what was the punchline of why? Because you asked why, oh, right? Yeah. So like, why did that work? Like, what did I use in there that was? Yeah, there's like a bunch of algebra, yeah. right? I had to know how to convert between logarithmic form and exponential form, right? And so you didn't have inverse function. So I had to know that there was an inverse function, but we figured that out pretty fast, right? Because mm -hmm. it passes the horizontal line test, so you just declare that there's an inverse function, you name it something. 
And then you have to know some polynomials. That's the kick. The y really boils down to this exponent rule right here. You guys see that? So there are log rules and exponent rules, and they're not actually different. They're just rephrased. So over here in, exponent, in exponential form land, right, there are exponent rules. And over here in logarithmic form land, there are log rules. And the log rules go with an exponent rule. Yeah. You guys see that? Uh -huh. Cool, cool. So, how would I try to do the other one? 